What's up everybody? Today we're going to be taking a look at the new crosscut sled from Infinity Tools, the TCS 200. Infinity Tools sent me this crosscut sled along with a fence and throat plate replacement kit to see what I thought about the assembly, the fit and finish, and its performance. Everything you need comes right out of the box, ready to be assembled thanks to it being CNC machined for a perfect fit. Now, like I said earlier, it came with two sets of throat plates and two front fences for when you need to replace them after a lot of use. That's a great feature I already really like. And thanks to it being CNC machined, assembly was a snap. Now, in reality, it did take me about 30 minutes to assemble this crosscut sled, but I figured I would save you watching me do that. Just know that it was really, really simple. And because it's all machined with a CNC, the fit and finish was perfect. With it assembled, it was now time to get it set up on my table saw. First, I'll check the left miter slot and see if there's any slop. It slides great and there's no wiggle. And if there was some wiggle, you can easily make some adjustments to the miter bar on the bottom and it will take up any slop that you have. So with the sled sliding nicely in the left miter slot, I'm gonna check the right miter slot. And that's the real beauty of this crosscut sled. You can use both of your miter slots for different types of cuts. I'll be setting up my left slot to cut 90 degree cross cuts, and then I'll be using the right slot to cut 45 degree bevel cuts. Another option is to set up your dado stack on one of your slots. And thanks to the removable throat plates on this sled, you could actually have all three types of cuts ready to go with this sled. Just swap out the throat plates. Now, after checking to make sure my blade is 90 degrees, I am going to make my initial cut into that throat plate and the bottom of the sled and front fence and rear fence. And I'm gonna take it nice and slow and realize about halfway through this cut, I forgot to turn on my dust collector, which is what you don't wanna do, but I'll remember to turn it on for my next cut but actually, it's not gonna make much difference because my table saw just doesn't have the best dust collection. So I'm gonna use that same setup block and check for 45 degrees now on my blade. And with that setup, I've got the sled now in the right miter slot to cut the left throat plate. That's not too confusing, is it? Anyways, you might be wondering at this point, what about squaring the rear fence on this sled? And well, it's just not necessary with this sled because this sled, the miter slot, and the rear fence slots have all been CNC machined. So as long as your blade is aligned to your miter slots, the sled will be square to your blade. It's really a plug and play kind of crosscut sled. No math needed. And when there's no math needed, I like it. Now that curves have been cut on both sides of the sled, I'm gonna test the sled out and the flip stop on some scrap plywood that I had laying around in the shop. So I'm gonna make a few cuts on this plywood and then I'm going to check for squareness using a double square here. I'm gonna check both sides, make sure everything is nice and square. And after checking, everything looks great. They are all identical and square, which is exactly what you want in a crosscut sled. So with the 90 degree cuts being bang on, I could then move everything over and test the 45 degree bevel cuts on the opposite side of the sled. I took a scrap piece of oak and I used both the flip stop and the hold down clamp to cut four identical pieces so I could test out just how well this thing does miters. And I did actually remember to turn on my dust collection for these cuts, but as you can see, it just doesn't matter. I think I just need to get a new saw. After making those cuts, I brought them over to my assembly table to see how well those miters lined up and initial thoughts, everything is looking really nice and tight and clean. And then I'm gonna check it with my double square again and yep, it is square, looks great. And there's no tear out, exactly what you want. So after just over an hour of assembly and testing out this new crosscut sled from Infinity Tools, I can for sure say it's the perfect crosscut sled for small shops like mine. I'll have a link to it in the description below so you can pick one up for yourself. Thanks for watching and thanks again to Infinity Tools.